Hello guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to start with Cypress testing in less than 10 minutes. Cypress is a modern JavaScript testing framework which is becoming very popular in the world. As you can see, its mission is to create fast, easy and stable tests for anything that runs in the browser. We will create new project, install and set up Cypress, create simple test and of course wrap the results into nice reporting tool so you will have a complete Cypress project ready to use for your application. Before we start, make sure you have not installed on your machine and some code editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code, but feel free to use whatever editor you like. So now I have created a simple project called demo and it's now completely empty. Step number one is to call npm init to initialize our project. So open terminal and type npm init with flag of yes, which will automatically submit all the default values. Hit enter. And as you can see, the package JSON has been created. Now we have to install Cypress. So type npm install Cypress and press enter. And now just wait until everything is downloaded and installed for us. And again, it might take some time. It really depends on your internet connection. Now, after the installation is finished, you should see node modules and package JSON created in the root of the project. Now, we need to open Cypress and it will automatically generate all important folders and files for us. So, mpx Cypress open and hit enter. And as you can see, Cypress is now opening and it is generating all the folders for us. We will see them here on the left in the root of the project after it's finished. So let's close this for now. And as you can see, the Cypress directory is here. And if you open it, you can see we have fixtures, integration, plugins and support. For now, go to integrations. And you can see there are some predefined tests for us and I'm going to delete the advanced examples because we will no need them for now and I'm just going to leave the to-do spec. It's completely fine for the purpose of this video. Next step is to create node script. So in the package JSON, let's change test to sci open and the command for that is cypress open and I want to create one more and that is siren and the script is cypress run and the first one will open the cypress app we do visual recording of everything and the siren will run all the tests headless so let me show you I'm gonna call npm run siren And we have a missing script, so ah, I didn't save the file, my bad. So let's run it again. And it will now run the to-do spec in headless mode. And it will also generate the video recording of the test and the screenshots folder. So let's now wait until the test is finished. As you can see, it's running. Our test passed in three seconds and as you can see there are some new folders and here we have videos and to do spec with mp4 file and basically Cypress is always recording the videos of your specs unless you disable this option but if you leave it on it will create you a nice video which you can later review and make sure if your tests are running correctly. Let's now walk through the Cypress to do spec and let me quickly explain how the Cypress test look like. The tests are looking pretty much the same as other tools such as TestCafe or Puppeteer. Just the syntax is quite different, but the test flow is the same. At the top we have reference types Cypress, 
which will make our editor autocomplete the Cypress commands, which is very useful because you don't need to memorize them all. Each switch of tests starts with describe. Then you have hooks. In this case, we have only before hook, which will run the code before each of the tests inside this suite. In the similar way, we can add after each hook, but it's not necessary for this demo project. The before hook is calling site.visit function, which means it will load this website before each of the tests in this suite. In Cypress, if you want to work with an element, you can call site.get, and then any follow-up action. It can be click, type, or any sort of assertion. The complete list of actions can be found in official Cypress documentation. And that's pretty much all you need to know to start writing tests with Cypress. To finish our project, we have to add some form of reporting, so we can see the results of our tests in some nice graphical way, which you can then present to your manager or people from business. We will use Mocha Awesome, which is in my opinion the best visual reporter for Cypress tests. So first, let's install it as new node package. So open terminal, and let's do npm install Mocha Awesome just like this and hit enter. Again, now we need to wait until everything is downloaded and installed for us. Now we need to set up a small configuration in Cypress JSON file. So let me show you. I'm gonna open Cypress JSON and I'm gonna copy paste this and hit enter. And what it does is actually specifying the reporter and of course some reporter options, which means the directory where our reports should go, function override if you want to always create new files or just override the current ones. I'm gonna set it to true. And then if you wanna create HTML and both JSON reported files. So now we need to go to the package JSON and we need to update the run command. So we need to add flag of reporter and mocha awesome. Now save it. And if you now go to the terminal and run npm run sign run, it will automatically run our tests in headless mode and it will generate reporter at the end of the run. So just wait until the execution is finished. And as you can see, it started running our tests. And if you scroll a little bit up, you can see that Mocha Awesome have saved the JSON and the HTML format files into the results directory, which can be created here. And how to actually display this? Basically, you can open the files in your local browser, or I am just using the live server extension, so I'm running on localhost. I'm gonna go to the Cypress, I'm gonna go to the results, and now I'm gonna open the Mocha Awesome. And as you can see, the graphic reporter is now generated. I can click on any of the tests. I can see the details. I can see if they failed or not. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Our reporting is now running. And that's all. Our Cypress project is finished and ready to use. Now you can keep adding more tests. If you want to learn more about Cypress and its ecosystem and professional frameworks and best practices, I have a complete 15-hour course hosted on Udemy, where I teach you everything from basic to advanced concepts of Cypress. How to test REST API, how to run tests inside Docker container, how to build and scale a large framework, and many more. If you're interested, the link is in the description of this video. And that's all. For now and in the next video we will take a look on another testing tool.